Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl V Queen here and I'm back with another awesome video. Yes, you haven't heard from me in a while, but that simply means that your girl has been busy. But I tried my best to get this one out for you guys today. In today's video, we will actually be doing a NVDA add-on review. That's right, we will be reviewing the WhatsApp Plus NVDA add-on. But before we get into it, please remember to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post the next video. Also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so for those of you who did not know, there is a desktop application for WhatsApp. Yes, so it's WhatsApp on your computer. This is really efficient, especially for persons like me where I'm always on my computer. So I don't have to get off my computer to be able to stay in contact on WhatsApp. Before, you usually had to go to the WhatsApp website and there would be a download link there to download the WhatsApp desktop app. But no, WhatsApp for desktop has moved to the Microsoft store. So if you go to the Microsoft store or if you go to the WhatsApp website under download, you'll be able to get a link to the Microsoft store to which you can download WhatsApp. Now, once you have WhatsApp downloaded, what you would do is open it. WhatsApp window. Then you would tab through that screen until you get to the get started button. Get started button. Then once you press enter on it, you would then take up your phone. Then you will find, I think it's the more options or the settings, something like that. I'm not sure how it is for iPhone, but I know for the Android on the top right of my WhatsApp on my phone, there is a more options button. You click on that. Then you go down to an option that says linked devices. Now, once you scroll down on that page, you should see a button that says link a device. Then what you're going Going to do you're going to take your phone screen phone camera and you're just gonna try to point it in front of your computer screen a little move it around a little bit to the left to the right for it to try to pick up the QR code that will now be displayed on your computer screen. And in the past, which was about a couple years ago, this process was extremely difficult and I had to eventually get sighted help. But in a matter of a couple of seconds, really, my phone recognized the code and it was scanned and it went through awesome. So the WhatsApp application has become more accessible over the years, it seems. But with this WhatsApp Plus add-on that I'm going to show you guys today, it makes the process a whole lot easier. Of course, you know, for us screen reader users, one major key factor in accessibility is when we can just use keystrokes to get to what we want to get to without having to be tabbing through the thing or down arrowing through. We just get directly to what we want. Well, that is the advantage of this add-on. As I said before, the add-on is called WhatsApp Plus and you can find it in the NVDA add-on directory or via the link below in the description. Once you have it downloaded, you would navigate to the download file, click enter on it. It would ask you if you are sure you want to download this add-on. You click yes. Then after it has finished installing, it will ask you to restart your NVDA. And once the installation process has completed and you have restarted your NVDA, the add-on is now ready for use. So the developer of this add-on is Kostia Gladke. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name properly. And as it relates to compatibility, I think that I read that this add-on can be used for NVDA 2021 and above. And of course, you guys have to understand because of privacy issues, I cannot share my screen reader sound actually doing a demonstration of this WhatsApp application. But I have some very helpful information to share with you. Now let's get into some of the keystrokes. Navigation. Alt plus the number 1 moves your focus to the chat list. And you know once you're in your chat list, you can use your up and down arrow keys to navigate through the chat and press your enter on the chat that you want to open it. Now, once you have a chat open, Alt plus your number 2 will move your focus to the last message in that chat. Alt plus 3 will move your focus to the unread messages in that chat. So say for example there were 5 unread messages in the chat. 
it will move you right to the first of those five unread messages and then you can use your arrow keys to go through alt plus d moves the focus to the edit field if the focus was already on the text area then it will move to the last focused element making calls before you use any feature in this whatsapp application that will require your microphone such as making calls or recording voice messages it will prompt you to allow whatsapp to access your microphone and you'd have to allow it to do so alt plus n declines if there is an incoming call or ends the current call alt plus shift plus c initiates a call to a contact or a group or joined a group call. So I tested out this one. I went into one of my friend's chat, then I pressed Alt plus Shift plus C and it started the call. Alt plus Shift plus V makes a video call to a contact or group. Alt plus V toggles the camera on a call screen. Alt plus A mutes or unmutes your microphone. Alt plus Y accepts incoming calls voice messages control plus r this starts recording a voice message and then once you're finished speaking when you press it again it will send it control plus d actually stops the voice message from being recorded so it basically cancels it control plus shift plus d pause or resumes the voice recording Ctrl plus S increases or decreases the playback speed of voice messages. Alt plus P plays or pauses the voice message currently playing. Actions for the currently focused message. Alt plus C shows the message text in a pop-up. Alt plus F forwards the message. Alt plus Q reacts to a message. Alt plus R replies to a message. Alt plus S marks a message as starred. Control plus C copies the text message. Actions for the chat list and the currently opened chat. Alt plus delete deletes a message or chat. Alt plus O opens more options in an open chat. Alt plus shift plus R marks a chat as read. Alt plus T announces the name and status of a chat. Control plus N starts a new chat. Alt plus L enables automatic reading of new messages in the current chat. Control plus Shift plus P opens the current chat's profile. And finally, here are some miscellaneous shortcuts. Control plus Shift plus A attaches a file or media. Control plus Shift plus E for unsaved numbers. It toggles between reading phone number and display name or display name only. Your NVDA key plus Control plus W opens the WhatsApp settings. So let's try doing that and see what's there. NVDA settings colon WhatsApp plus left paren normal configuration right paren dialog WhatsApp plus property page. In this field, separate by commas, write all the matching phrases of the quote unread messages quote element in your language. You need to write phrases without a number. Edit selected unread messages unread message. Let's press our tab key. Play sounds when starting, pausing, and sending a voice message checkbox not checked. Okay, so this is an option that we already have on our phones. And I would like to have this option on desktop as well. So let me press space bar to check it. Space. Checked. Let's tab again. Check for WhatsApp Plus updates on NVDA startup checkbox checked. Okay, let's leave that. Check for updates button Alt Plus U. Alright, so you can use that to check for updates manually. Tab. OK button. Alright, so that's it for the settings. So let's press enter. Awesome, so that is it for all the shortcuts for this NVDA WhatsApp Plus add-on. But that is just at the time when this video was recorded. If you're watching this video at a later date, it would be good to keep checking the website with the add-on to see if there has been any additional updates to it. But before you go, don't leave just yet. I have one more thing to show you. If you want to change any of the keystrokes relating to this add-on, there is a way to do it. 
So say for instance you want to change the keystrokes to something that you'll be more comfortable with or it will be easier for you to remember. Well, there is a way to do so. That is by using the input gestures dialog. Now, if you haven't seen my video on the input gestures dialog, it will be posted down below in the description via a link or you can easily just go on my website or on my channel page to find it. If you watch that input gestures video, you will see that I teach you guys how you could find the input gestures dialog and change various different keystrokes relating to NVDA. So I'm not going to go in depth on how to change the keystrokes for this add-on in this video, but I'm actually going to just show you how you can get to the keystrokes for this add-on to change them. So you can go to my input gestures video and watch and see the step-by-step -step instructions to actually change it. So first, what you want to do is to have your WhatsApp application open because you have to have your application open before you go into the input gestures dialog to be able to change these keystrokes. So let's do that. WhatsApp. Then you're going to open your NVDA menu. So your NVDA key plus your letter N. NVDA menu. Then down arrow to preferences and press enter. Preferences sub menu key. Settings. S. Then you can either down arrow to input gestures and press enter, or you can press your letter N. Input gestures dialog, tree view, level zero braille collapsed one of 23. Then you can either down arrow to WhatsApp plus, or you can press your letter W. W, WhatsApp plus collapsed 23 of 23 level zero. Now it says collapsed. So you're gonna use your right arrow to expand it. Expanded, 31 items. Awesome, now it says 31 items. So let's down arrow and see what they are. Level 1 accept call collapsed 1 of 31. Announce the name and status of an open chat collapsed 2 of 31 level 1. Copy the message if it contains text collapsed 3 of 31 level 1. Delete a message or chat collapsed 4 of 31 level 1. And I'm not gonna go through all 31 of them but you get the gist of it. And to be able to access the keystroke for it, you realize they say collapse, you just use your right arrow to expand it. And you can follow the rest of instructions to change input gestures via the input gestures video on my channel. But that is it guys for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and it has been helpful to you. A lot of persons out there didn't even know that there was a WhatsApp desktop app, right? Thank you guys for watching, thank you for being so understanding and my next video hopefully will be back to the HTML series. Remember to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new and to turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post the next video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. This video was sponsored by Presenting Not, Not My, my Eyes, eyes. A non-profit organization catering for the blind and visually impaired community. Founded by Annalie Bowen-Smith, a visually impaired model. Her aim is to showcase strength, independence, and beauty through fashion. Hence, the launch of the Not My Eyes Fashion Show. Each year, we select numerous women to participate in our annual fashion showcase, which gains attention from a variety of news media, magazines, and photographers. They go through a trail of auditions and even experience runway training from a model coach. From the DJ to the MC, every participant of the show is either partially or completely blind. We provide services such as mentorship to bring out the best in persons who lack self-esteem and confidence. We give these ladies a chance to shine despite their disabilities. They get the opportunity to take the stage with confidence, show off the work of talented designers, and most of all, give back to the community. All while proving that their disability does not limit them. So on the behalf of this organization, we are seeking monetary donations to support our cause and movement. Be a part of this move to promote beauty, confidence, and upliftment to those who underestimate their capabilities. Partner with us to help us pay for all of the expenses relating to our fashion show. You can find more information about us and how you can donate at notmyeyes.com. That is N-O-T-M-Y 
eyes.com or you can email us at notmyeyesfoundation at gmail.com. Help us to keep shining bright as we walk by faith and not by sight.